What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfella back with the boxing clinic, and we definitely kept it moving today. Got the ball rolling. Shit, I did enough videos today to chill for a week, but the news was rolling in, and Ari's already half set. Videos ready to go. I'm always on the go, bored at work, or not doing shit. I shoot them. You know, as long as it's a solid topic, we get it done. Um, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, I'm not going to cover and do a review on every McGregor. Floyd Mayweather press conference or you know whatever they have you know interview I mean it's just not um piquing my interest like that you know but it's a huge fight and um I told people man this this fight is going to smash Triple G and Canelo in, in the box office you know as far as ticket sales live gate whatever you want to say it it's going to smash it obliterate it it's going to run circles around it easily you know what I'm saying but like I said Canelo Triple G is a fight that I will buy. You know, if it's at the movie theater, I'm definitely pulling up and going to that. You know, this fight, I mean, it's kind of getting more intriguing, I guess, because of the trash talk. And then you hear other people's opinions on what can happen. And then it started to spark your imagination a little bit. But at the end of the day, not $100. Not for that. But if it's at the movie theater, you know, I pay the $20, $20 to see it. It's a good experience. Um, but... You know, I had the question asked, you know, heard a lot of people now now questioning it now, saying that, you know, will McGregor Mayweather smash the pay-per-view record of Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather? Now, they let Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather marinate, you know, for for the longest, you know, and looking back on it, they would have got it on right away. I don't think they would have, you know, you know, smashed the record of Delahoy and Mayweather, you know, but... It, we got a stale product at the end of the day still. Um, I don't think neither one of them was at their best, you know, but I think the result was going to remain the same this year or five, seven years ago. And, you know, the thing about it is I point out they didn't even really try to promote that fight. You know, it already had promoted itself. I think if they would have gave an effort to promote it, the record would have been a little bit more harder to break. But I think McGregor and Mayweather is going to slap, smash that record as well, you know, cause it's no, it's no, you know, it shouldn't be nothing for Triple G and Canelo to hang their head on. You know, they could have made that fight and smash records, single de Mayo, and not even had to deal with this shit. But that's what they wanted to do, you know. Maybe they never thought Mayweather and McGregor would materialize, but, you know, now they got to go head up with it, basically. I know it's a three-week uh, in between the fights, but, you know, after people react to this fight, especially if it's another snooze like Pacquiao and Mayweather, it's going to be the, the ripple effect, they say. Um, <laughs> people are not going to want to buy a pay-per-view no more and not going to support boxing or, you know, the casual fan. I'm talking about the hardcore fan. And the hardcore fan already knew it's going to be a dull fight. You know what the, the ending going to be. But then again, this fight can spark new shit, all types of imagination. It could be actually good and Mayweather could stop them and it can bring new fans to the sport and Triple G and, and Canelo can prosper a little bit. But as far as, you know, McGregor Mayweather pay-per-view number, it's going to smash that Pacquiao. It's going to smash it. You know, people talk, I think it was the record was like 4.5, 4.8, something like that. Um, I think it's going to do 6, 6.5, 6, possibly 7. But look at these press conferences, all these people coming out for a press conference. You got people in Canada. I don't know what's going on in, in, with the UK because Box Nation picked up Common Got Koto. So maybe Sky Sports or I don't know what's going on with that. You got a, a, a Europe. Ireland is part of European, certain parts of it. So you got the whole European going to be watching. I mean, Europe going to be watching. So this definitely going to smash the record. You know, I'll come up with a number later, but I think it's going to be close to six. You know, that's just my opinion. I know that's kind of astronomically high for some people, but you see this, it's a crossover fight. It's a fantasy fight. You know, people want to see that. You know, they they want to see, you know, you know, you know, worlds don't collide. You know, they want to see, this is like saying, like similar to, you know, saying what about LeBron playing Michael Jordan one-on-one, -on -one? you know, and this actually can happen. And that's why it's having the effect that it's having on his fans, because it's it's actually can happen. It's actually happening. A fantasy matchup. You know, it's like who won the three point shootout? Steph Curry or Bird? You know, you know who can run over who? Can Jerome Bettis run run over? You know, Ray Lou. I mean, obviously they play together. Because Jerome Bettis run over Dick Buckus. You know, stuff like that. It's playing with imaginations. Hopefully, it lives up to the hype. We go.